Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone. We have our new topic in Science 8 which is all about cell division. This will be the fourth quarter topic and week 2. This topic is a milk paste. For the most essential learning competencies, specifically, you are expected to compare my two cells and meuses and their role in the cell cycle, and to explain the significance of meuses in maintaining the chromosome number. The cell cycle is the name we give to the mechanism by which cells multiply and make new cells. The two major stages in cell cycle are the interphase and cell division or mitotic phase. Interphase is the period between mitotic divisions that is G1, S, and G2. The stage where the cell prepares to divide is G1. It then goes into the S phase where all the DNA is copied by the cell. So S stands for synthesis of DNA. The cell moves into the G2 phase where it organizes and condenses the genetic material or begins to condense the genetic material and prepares to divide after the DNA is copied and there is a full extra collection of all the genetic material. M is the next stage. M stands for the mitosis. This is where the two copies of genetic material partitioned into two daughter cells by the cell. Cell division happens after the M step is completed and two cells are left and the cell cycle will begin again. If a cell is fully developed, it either stops growing or divides and produces more cells through cell division. Cell division in your body helps to expand and fix worn out tissues. Division can also lead to an increased number of cells growing. There are two types of division of cells, the mitosis and the meiosis. Mitosis happens in the somatic or the body cells, while the meiosis happens in germ cells that give rise to the gametes or the sex cells. These are the egg and the sperm cells. The completion of the entire cycle varies depending upon the cell type. Some cells complete the cycle within a few minutes, others after several hours or even a year. After 12 to 14 hours in your body, most cells divide. Mitosis is a form of cell division that produces two daughter cells having the same genetic materials as its parent. The following are the stages of mitosis. The first stage is the prophase. This phase occupies over half of mitosis. The cell prepares for cell division by copying the DNA and the nuclear membrane and the nucleolus are starting to break down in this process. Chromatin condenses into chromosomes. A centromer binds the double-stranded chromosomes together at one point. Spindle fibers begin to form, which are microscopic protein structures that helps divide the genetic material in the cell. The second stage of mitosis is the metaphase. At the equator of the cell, the now double-stranded chromosomes called chromatids align themselves. Each chromatid is connected to the spindle by a structure called kinetochore in the centromer. The third stage of mitosis is the anaphase. This is the shortest stage. The chromatids are pushed by forces originating from the pools to pass. Consequently, the centromer divides into new, single-stranded chromosomes, splitting the chromatids. After that, the chromosomes travel towards their respective pools. 
The fourth stage of mitosis is the telophase. This is the final mitosis step. The opposite poles have now reached the chromosomes and the spindle is vanishing. The chromosomes uncoil at the poles and the nucleus and the nuclear membrane start to reform. The cytoplasm simultaneously divides and the cell is separated into two by a plasma membrane. The formation of the new plasma membrane completely divides the cell into two identical daughter cells. In telophase, the creation of the cleavage furrow in animal cell is necessary for cytokinesis, where the cytoplasm divides and the parent cell becomes two daughter cells. It pinches the cells off or splits into two. In plants, cells do not pinch off instead between two nuclei, a new cell wall called the cell plates formed. Another type of cell division is the meiosis. Meiosis is the form of cell division that produces haploid sex cells or gametes with a single copy of each chromosome from diploid cells with two copies of each chromosome. Meiosis involved DNA replication followed by two consecutive nuclear and cellular division, the meiosis 1 and the meiosis 2. The following are the stages of meiosis. Stage of meiosis 1 is the prophase 1. The chromosomes are already duplicated at the beginning of prophase 1. So each chromosome consists of two sister chromatids that are attached through the centomer to each other. In a loop called synapses, the chromosomes paired with their homologous ones. One inherited chromosome from the father and one inherited chromosome from the mother is made of a pair homologous chromosome. This is commonly referred to as a tetrad. Since it consists of four chromatids, during the latter part of this stage, there will be a crossing over or exchange of genetic material between homologous chromosomes. The second stage of meiosis 1 is the metaphase 1. This is where the paired homologous chromosomes aligned at the equatorial plate when the spindle fibers are completely formed. The arrangement of the paired chromosomes is random. The third stage of meiosis 1 is the anaphase 1. So each member separates from the other and moves to the opposite poles of the homologous pair. Random events are the positioning of each pair of homologous 1 at the equator and their corresponding direction of motion. No matter which partner moves to which pole, it does not matter. <laughs> The fourth stage of meiosis 1 is the telophase 1. It is where the two daughter cells are produced with only one chromosome of the homologous pair being present in each daughter cell. This means that there is only a haploid chromosome number in each daughter cell. <laughs> The first stage of meiosis 2 is the prophase 2. This is the step following the cell division in telophase 1. In this step, there is no DNA replication. At the centromere, the sister chromatids of each chromosome are still attached. Nuclear membrane dissolves. <laughs> The second stage of meiosis 2 is the metaphase 2. It is where on an equatorial plate, each chromosome aligns with each other. The third stage of meiosis 2 is the anaphase 2. Centromeres divide and each chromosome's sister chromatids move toward each pole separately. 
The fourth stage of meiosis 2 is the telophase 2. The division of cell is complete. They contain four haploid cells. This means that there is a haploid number of single-stranded chromosomes for each gamete after cytokinesis. In meiosis, four daughter cells are formed by one parent cell, each receiving half the number of chromosomes from each parent cell. Every daughter cell is genetically distinct from each other due to crossing over. The following are the importance of meiosis in the life cycle of animals. During fertilization, gametes such as eggs and sperm unite, forming a diploid zygote. Gametogenesis is the production of gametes from haploid precursor cells. One set of chromosomes from the male parent and another set from the female parent are required for the zygote. In humans, through their gametes, both father and mother contribute 23 chromosomes each. The zygote, therefore, has 46 chromosomes. A zygote breaks several times. A new diploid multicellular organism is created by this. Another importance of meiosis in the life cycle of animals is that in male animals, sperm cells are produced in the testis. Meiosis develop four very small but equally sized cells. These cells become sperm or spermatozoa. In head of the sperm, the nucleus is located. In the middle section that ties the head to the tail, mitochondria are found. This mitochondria provide the energy for the tail of the sperm to move. Another importance of meiosis in the life cycle of animals is that female animals produce egg cells in the ovary. When a cell in the ovary undergoes meiosis, new cells which different size are produced. Two cells on one large and one small are manufactured after meiosis 1. From the first big cell, meiosis 2 creates one big and one small cell. It may or may not divide the small cell that is created from meiosis 1. If it is thus, it generates two small cells. The big cell becomes the cell of the egg. The tiny cells disintegrate. At the beginning of its development, the egg cell contains a lot of stored food that is used by the development of embryo. The tiny sperm cell contribute only its genetic material contained in the head during the fertilization.